What's the main takeaway you want people to understand from this second journey? Yeah, like I said, my message is one of empathy and I feel like if I could bring a little bit more empathy to this world, I'll be happy with what I did. Even though what I did was crazy, it was extreme, it was risky, for sure, it was attention grabbing. I think at the end of the day, you know, people realize that my message is one of empathy. And I think no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. And I see this all the time in the fitness industry. You'll see trainers with all these certifications and accolades and all this knowledge, which is great. It's very important to have that knowledge. But if we can't relate to the people who are struggling, then what good is it? And if they don't feel like they're cared about, if they don't feel like they're understood, empathy is listening to understand someone. Empathy is not listening to respond, which is what we're, we do in our society. We, we listen to someone and in our head, we're thinking, okay, how am I going to respond to this? Instead of understanding where that person's coming from, we judge before we even know that person. There's a Brene Brown quote too that I love. Uh, she says, it's really hard to hate people up close. And it's so true. And we live in a world where we're on social media, we see someone post a meme or a quote or a, a, an opinion, and we just automatically label that person as this or that based off of that one little post and not really knowing anything about them. And we respond in a very hateful way because it's not face to face and, and we're so quick to judge. And this is the problem with our society, in my opinion, is, is just that we, there, we lack empathy because we don't want to get to know someone. We want to judge them based off of one little thing that we see about them. And um, my hope is to bring a little bit more empathy into this world, spe speci uh, specifically into the fitness industry, so that people feel more understood. And if people feel more understood, they're going to be they're going to feel safer to listen to the experts that understand them or that care about them. And that's kind of what this whole fit to fight to fit movement is about. And that's why we had the TV show where we had two seasons where other trainers did this so that this industry could become a little bit more empathetic at the end of the day. So that's my hope.